Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to find gcd of two numbers so guys gcd full form is greatest common divisor which is also called as hcf that is highest common factor which is the highest number that divides two numbers entered by the user so guys let's say for example we have the two numbers that is entered by the user as 81 and 153 so we need to find the highest number which will divide both these numbers over here so in this case the gcd is 9 in this case now why the gcd is 9 over here that's because this 9 will be able to divide 81 that means 9 multiplied by 9 is 81 also 9 multiplied by 17 will be 153 so this number is dividing both these numbers over here and this is the highest number among the other numbers which is dividing both these numbers so guys what will be the logic behind finding the gcd by using the java program so basically we are going to start with the number 1 and we are going to check whether this number that is 1 can be multiplied in such a way that 81 divided by 1 will give us the remainder as 0 and similarly whether 153 divided by 1 will give us the remainder as 0 so guys yes in this case the gcd will be 1 but we need to find the highest number that will divide both these numbers so is there any number that is greater than 1 which will divide both these numbers so ultimately we will be finding that 9 will be the number which will be dividing both these numbers over here so guys let us move to the eclipse id in order to implement this algorithm over here so first of all we will declare two numbers over here so we will say number 1 and then we have number 2 in this case and then over here instead of semicolon we will be having our comma over here and then we have semicolon at the end of the line of code over here now we will ask the user in order to provide the first number so we will say enter first number over here as the label so we say enter first number and then followed by we will be using our scanner class in order to take the input from the user so scanner will be the class equal to new scanner in this case and then we will be having system dot in so that the user is able to provide the input on the console so first the user will be asked to provide the first number over here so we will be using our number 1 as the variable equal to followed by sc dot next end so guys this is the line of code that is responsible in order to take the input from the user and it will be assigned to this number 1 variable now the next number we will be asking the user once again to enter the second number over here so we will simply copy and paste this line of code enter second number in this case so it will be enter second number and then again we will be copying this line of code over here but this time the number will be assigned to number 2 in this case so we will be changing the variable that is to number 2 so guys using these lines of code we have got the two numbers from the user now we simply have to find the gcd so how do we find the gcd we will simply start with the for loop and int i it is equal to 0 and then we need to check whether this i is less than or equal to both the numbers so first time it will be i less than or equal to number 1 and i less than or equal to number 2 so guys this condition is very important that's because we need to find a number that is less than both these numbers but it is the highest number which is dividing both these numbers over here so this is the condition that is i is less than or equal to number 1 and it can also be i less than or equal to number 2 so both these conditions should be satisfied and then we will be saying i plus plus now inside this for loop our logic will be we have to check whether both these numbers can be divided by this number that is i over here so what we will do is before this for loop we will say int gcd in order to store the gcd of both these numbers over here so we will be having our if condition over here if first of all number 1 percent i is it equal to 0 this condition and again this number that is same number this number that is i it should also divide the number 2 over here so number 2 percent i is it equal to 0 so guys what we are checking over here is whether this number that is the first number percent i is it giving us the value that is 0 which means a remainder is 0 or not in which case the number 1 will be perfectly divided by this i number and number 2 percent i is equal to 0 in which case the number 2 will be also perfectly divided by this number that is i so if this case is true that is both these conditions are true we will say gcd is equal to this number that is i over here so gcd it is 
equal to i and then we have semicolon now guys after this condition we also have to check whether the other numbers that is greater than this particular gcd whether it is the gcd of both these numbers or not so again and again the control flow will go back to this for loop and it will go until this condition that is i's value should be less than both the entered numbers over here and ultimately we will find the gcd of both the numbers and what we will do is we will simply print the gcd of the two numbers so we will say gcd it is equal to the number is stored in the gcd variable over here so as you can see we are getting a red underline over here it says the local variable gcd may not have been initialized so what we can do is simply we can initialize it to one over here that's because one can divide any number so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it is asking for enter first number so what we will do is let's say we provide these numbers over here that is 81 and 153 so the first number we provide it as 81 and then we press enter and the second number we provide as 153 over here and when we press enter it says exception in thread main so divide by zero so guys this is because we have started the i's value as zero over here so instead of zero we will provide it as one because any number divided by zero will give us the arithmetic exception in any java program so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now once again so over here we are getting enter first number but we are not getting any equal to or colon symbol over here so i'll simply provide the colon symbols in both the print statements let me just save this file and try running this code once again so that it becomes more readable to the user so we provide 81 and 153 over here we say 81 and the second number it will be 153 I'll press enter as you can see GCD it is equal to 9 and that is what we wanted that is the result is GCD equal to 9 in this case that's because it is the highest number that divides both these numbers now guys if you notice over here the for loop it is going from 1 up to it is going to 9 so it is going 9 times over here so it is not one of the optimum codes in order to find the GCD of the two entered numbers so one more thing that we can do is another logic in finding the GCD of two numbers is by using the while loop so in that case what we will do is i'll simply remove these lines of code over here so we can simply use the while loop over here and in the while condition we will be having number one it is not equal to number two so if any instance if both these numbers are equal the control flow will come out of the while loop so over here inside this what we will do is we will check whether this number one is it greater than number two over here so we will say number one greater than number two so in this case if number one is greater than number two so what we will do is we will simply subtract number two from number one so it will be number one it is equal to number one minus number two in this case so guys this is one of the logic behind finding the gcd in case number one is greater than number two we will say number one it is equal to number one minus number two which means we need to reduce that number and then in another case let's say if number two over here we say number two is greater than number one in this case so what we will do is we will say number two it is equal to number two minus number one so we simply need to subtract that number one from number two over here and assign it back to number two so ultimately guys we will find a number in such a way that both these numbers that is number one and number two will be equal and that will be our gdc in that case so once both these numbers are equal the gcd will be present in both these numbers so we can simply print one of the numbers in our case over here so we will say gcd it is equal to number one we can also use number two in our case so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so enter first number we will say 81 enter second number let's say we take the same example that is 153 as you can see gcd is 9 guys let us take another example over here i'll run this code once again let's say if the number entered by the user is 21 that is the first number and second number let's say is 49 so probably 7 is the highest number that will be able to divide both these numbers that is 21 and 49 which is 7 multiplied by 3 is 21 7 multiplied by 7 is 49 so let me press enter over here as you can see gcd is 7 so guys how does this logic work over here in order to find the gcd 
let us check in the calculator over here so if you take this example that is 49 and 21 so first of all 49 is the highest number so we need to remove 21 from this number so we get 28 now again 28 is greater than 21 so we remove 21 once again from this number so we reach 7 so the other number is 21 right now we need to remove 7 from 21 so we say 21 minus 7 which is equal to 14 and then again 14 is greater than 7 so we remove 7 once again so minus 7 which will give us 7 now both these numbers are equal so the control flow will come out of this while loop and gcd will be present in both these numbers that is number 1 and number 2 so guys this is the logic behind finding the gcd of two numbers this can be the optimum code in order to find the gcd based on the time complexities so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to find lcm of two numbers so stay tuned